Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 765. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about where is Amazon's growth coming from? because Investors Business Daily did a really good analysis of Amazon, and it's not often that I do a podcast about an individual stock. I really like to keep you diversified and make sure that you're investing in ETFs that give you less risk, but also a really great return. But in this case, I really thought that this article did a great job doing research, and I wanted to share that with you. Now, having said that, I do want to say before we even get started that this probably isn't the best time to buy Amazon. It is looking extended here. It has gone up quite extensively this year. But here's the thing, because it's probably getting a bit extended, that means that if you do your research now, you can wait for a pullback to find a good lower price to buy it at. So the idea is not to be saying this is the time to buy Amazon, but rather say this is the time to do research on Amazon. And therefore, if you can get it at a lower price, and we do have a bigger pullback, which I've been expecting in the next month or two, then you might just have a great opportunity to snap it up at a lower price. Who knows? But I really felt that this was a great article that I wanted to share with you. This article was written by Brian Deegan, and the title is Billions in COVID-19 Investments Pay Off for Etailing King. And it says, everyone knows Amazon.com kicked into high gear when the COVID-19 virus began to spread across the U.S., pushing Amazon stock to record highs. While many may assume the e-commerce giant just sat back and let the orders flow in from homebound consumers, its added fortune came at a cost. After the coronavirus took hold in March, Amazon claimed $4 billion in COVID-related expenses during the second quarter. The company hired 175,000 new employees to meet surging demand from customers who were sheltering at home. This move included extra compensation for frontline employees and for the purchase of personal protective equipment. Amazon also quickly implemented social distancing rules across the organization and put new work processes in place. But those investments paid off as Amazon stayed up and running while other companies shuttered. That was evident when it reported second quarter results that blew past Wall Street's estimates. Adjusted earnings of $10.30 per share jumped 97% from the year-ago period, smashing expectations of $1.48. Revenue soared 40% to $88.9 billion, comfortably above estimates of $81.4 billion. That was its strongest revenue growth in nine quarters. Amazon was well-positioned to benefit in behavioral shifts in its consumer and corporate customers as the virus spread, and don't look for things to slow down anytime soon. Demand is still super high, Amazon Chief Financial Officer Brian Olsavsky said in a conference call after the earnings report. Our second quarter revenue was actually higher revenue than the fourth quarter of last year, which is unheard of, and Q3 is now forecast to also be higher than Q4 of last year. The company now predicts third quarter revenue of $87 billion to $93 billion. That's above earlier analyst estimates at $86.4 billion and represents growth of about 29% at the midpoint. A big chunk of Amazon's growth is coming from its Amazon Prime Customer Rewards Program. Launched in 2007, customers pay an annual fee of $119 to join. In return, they get free shipping, including one-day delivery. 
They get access to Amazon Prime Video, which is comparable to Netflix. And in addition, they get free music streaming services and exclusive access to select promotions and sales, among other perks. Prime members shop more often with larger basket sizes, says Oslavsky. Our worldwide streaming video hours doubled year over year, driven largely by Prime Video, he said, in reference to the second quarter. In January, Amazon disclosed that it had 150 million Prime members. Its streaming video service is the second largest in the U.S., behind Netflix. We calculate that Amazon Prime is worth nearly $200 billion, or 12% of Amazon's total enterprise value, Needham analyst Laura Martin wrote in a recent note to clients. She has a buy rating and price target of $3,700 on Amazon stock. Following the Q2 earnings report, Wedbush Securities analyst Michael Pachter raised his price target on Amazon stock to $3,700 from $3,500 with a rating of outperform. He based that in part on Amazon's position relative to the COVID-19 outbreak. We expect many consumers to remain reticent to return to normal consumption patterns so long as the threat of infection is meaningful, Pachter wrote in his report to clients. Amazon proved to be the greatest beneficiary of shelter in place under our coverage. Pachter also said Amazon has seen a boom in its grocery delivery services during the pandemic and thinks that a large percentage of these new grocery customers will remain customers indefinitely. To be sure, a major factor in the Amazon success story is continuous innovation and investments in new markets, creating a large and lengthy runway of opportunities. For example, it paid $13.4 billion to acquire Whole Foods in 2017, moving into groceries and food delivery. During the second quarter, Amazon said it increased grocery delivery capacity by more than 160% and tripled grocery pickup locations. As a result, online grocery sales tripled versus the same period last year. Among other investments, in 2006, Amazon launched its cloud computing business called Amazon Web Services. That business is now operating at an annualized revenue rate of $43 billion and is one of Amazon's most profitable entities. In 2014, Amazon introduced Echo, its line of smart speakers, better known as Alexa, which dominate the market. The company is also merging into the transportation field. Amazon is a big investor in Rivian, pumping $700 million into the electric truck maker one year ago. In June, Amazon expanded its push into self-driving vehicles when it announced plans to acquire Zooks, a six-year-old startup for an undisclosed sum. Reports said Amazon paid more than $1.2 billion. Amazon is also exploring the healthcare market. In 2018, it acquired online pharmacist PillPack for just under $1 billion. Not all of its ventures succeed, but many agree it's willing to take bold steps that turn into big winners and has the massive workforce to prove it. Amazon currently employs more than 876,000 people globally. In wrapping up his conference call with analysts, Olsavsky said, I would note that Amazon has created more jobs over the last decade than any other company, and we are proud that we're continuing to create good jobs with industry-leading wages and great benefits during this challenging time. Amazon stock is up about 75% this year. End of article. All right, well, I thought they did a spectacular job delving into all of Amazon's businesses and looking at all of the angles that they have. I remember when Amazon was talking about delivery by drone, and it looks like maybe this electric vehicle company that they've purchased might be along the delivery lines. So they're wanting to own the whole operation from point A to point B, including delivery, which is really interesting because right now, of course, we have UPS and Federal Express and companies like that doing delivery. Think about how much another delivery company might be worth. So there could be some extra untapped value within Amazon. I like the fact that they have the online pharmaceutical thing going on there. I didn't know anything about that business that they owned. So they have a lot of growth potential, especially if people do stay in this stay at home, shop online type mode that may go on for longer than we think. 
So while Amazon is up quite a lot this year and for many years, it looks like there's still growth in there, but I would wait for a nice pullback in the price to be able to pick it up at a little bit of a discount. Remember, when the entire market pulls back, we do get those buying opportunities because some people are buying on margin and their stocks, even if they're great stocks, get automatically sold out of their account because they're too leveraged and they have to pay off their debt. So that can trigger selling of even the best companies out there and companies that usually people might not want to get out of their portfolio. So you will have buying opportunities when the market as a whole takes a dip, which again, I think in the next month or two, we're probably going to see at least one pretty good opportunity. So again, I wouldn't be rushing out to buy Amazon, but I would put it on the back burner buy list and wait to buy it on sale. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available so you never miss one of them. And today we're about one week away from announcing winners in our big review contest. There are 25 prizes that are being given away. 10 of my Wealth Heiress books signed by me. Your Already a Wealth Heiress was listed as one of the best all-time wealth books by Book Authority. I'm giving away 10 of my Wealthy Mindset Blueprint audio sets valued at $197, and five people will win a 30-minute one-on-one wealth mentoring session with me. All you need to do is leave a podcast review for Be Wealthy and Smart. That will get your name in the drawing one time. And if you've read the Wealth Heiress book or listened to the audio book and leave a book review on Amazon, that will get your name in the drawing two times and winners will be announced in a week on August 31st. So be sure to mark your calendar and tune in that day to find out if you've won and you still have a really great chance to win. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.